hey guys hey welcome back to cooking with Della um, okay this is a different video because I usually do like sorry I keep looking down because I'm getting used to looking at the camera um, this is a different video from what I usually do this is um, a sit down it's actually um, something God has placed in my heart for a while now I've actually been dragging I actually filmed a previous video video before this one but I didn't post it so I was like okay I'm gonna do on that one yeah so um this video is basically me talking about I mean from a title you will see it it's me talking about my walk with God um yeah and how he's transformed me basically um so yeah sorry introduction my name is Daniela Agofere um, if you're new here, if you're a previous subscriber, please like, share, comment. Thank you. God needs the support. Subscribe, like, share, and comment. Yeah. Thank you so much. Okay. So let's. I'm not. I don't think I'm gonna edit this video. So I want to be like really precise. Um. So straight into the conversation for today. Um. Yeah, I'm talking about my walk with God, how God um, helped me transform my life, help, cured me of anxiety, depression. Um, most of you don't know, um, that if you know at all. <laughs> um, I'm actually a single mom. I have a three-year-old son, beautiful boy. Um, yeah, so um, plus my baby daddy and my daddy left me for dead. But I'm not going to get into that because I mean that's not what the video is about. I mean I'll talk about that in bits and pieces, but that's not what the video is about. If you want to know about that gist, if you want to know the tea, let me know in the comment section and I'll do a separate video talking about all that and my experience. Um so when I had my son um three years ago, because he's three right now, he's on three like a week ago, yeah. So um when I had my son, I, I um, <laughs> I was, I was still, still, I was still with my my son's father at the time. Um, we we're living together. I mean, it was okay. Um, but after I had my son, we started to have issues, right? Um, I mean, for various reasons. Um, I also didn't tell my dad when I got pregnant. My dad didn't know I was pregnant. Even after I had like my son, he didn't know I was pregnant. Um, he didn't know I had given birth. Like I was just living my life in Lagos, La Vida Luca. Well, not La Vida Luca, but like I was just doing my own thing, really. Um, I mean, I had my reasons, right? Because I knew I wanted to keep the child. And when I found out like I was pregnant, I knew I wanted to keep the child. So I, I wasn't, and my dad is a very, very, um, he's he's very set in his ways right so if you're not doing what he wants you to do then like it's not up for discussion basically so like when i got pregnant like i'm not about to go back and forth with this man like i know i want to keep this child like i don't want to like take it out so i mean i guess i panicked right just i mean i was young well not that young but young what i basically what made sense to me i i decided to keep the child i didn't tell anybody i had a beautiful pregnancy safe delivery everything was amazing um sorry someone just closed the door <laughs> yeah then um i mean after i had my child everything sort of like started like everything just i don't know <laughs> uh, everything was going downhill <laughs> then um yeah i got into like the back and forth with my son's father he had to move out of the house we we're both leaving in um this was like when my son was just three months old it was it was a lot no my son was um six months old yeah sorry six months old um yeah so we're already having issues um it was just a lot the, the breakup was very very <laughs> traumatic to say the least um it was unexpected it was messy oh my god it was messy um yeah it was just it was just a whole lot and after during that process i got really depressed i had a lot of anxiety i was smoking a lot to 
to numb the pain. All that say, if I do all that, you just go on, you just go on face, <laughs> you face the problem that's waiting for you. <laughs> so I don't even, I can't. Till this very day, I still try to think about how I, my, I came back to like to Christ, like to church, because I mean, I, I used to go to church before I got pregnant, but like during that period, I sort of reduced how I used to go to church. I went a few times, but I didn't really go mainly because I wasn't like trying to show it when I was pregnant. So I still this very day, I still try to remember, but I can't really remember. But I just know I found my way back to church, and I'm and I'm thankful for that because it really helped me. Um, after I told, I finally told my dad about my son. Uh, obviously, <laughs> the guy was angry. Shouldn't call my father the guy. <laughs> my father was angry. Um, I mean, it was expected. His reaction was expected, really. Like they, there wasn't a way he reacted that I didn't already anticipate so um i mean but even with that it's still i guess some parts of your my mind i still like was hoping and praying that ah, okay maybe some hail mary will happen and you would like be able to see past everything but that didn't happen <laughs> um yeah so i hope i'm not rambling i'm trying to like the story in a way you guys will understand so after like um i told my dad about my son this was after me and my son's father had broken up so i had to go to my dad and tell him about everything right because everything was just crumbling and me and my son's father had broken up he had moved out i was by myself there was a lot of arguments back and forth threats so i went to my dad naturally right thinking okay all right i don't know he would sort of like shield me but that didn't happen um so it was a really tough time for me but after i told him i felt peace i wouldn't lie to you guys i felt a lot of peace it felt like a burden had been lifted off my shoulders right um then i came back to lagos my dad is not based in lagos stays in like um a different state stays in delta states Oh, I hope I'm not sharing too much information. <laughs> uh, well, it stays in a different state than I do. So um, I came back to Lagos and um, <laughs> I guess I was trying to figure out life. I was still very depressed. I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't have a job. <sighs> like life was just hitting me left and right. <laughs> I was so emotionally downcast. If you if you've heard that, if you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. So I went to church this Sunday. I'll never forget it. That's when everything shifted, right? I I don't even think I was paying attention. So I go to Harvesters International Christian Center. Beautiful church. Amazing pastors. Pastor Balaji is amazing. The assistant pastors are amazing. Like, it's just a beautiful community, really. Um, so I went back to church I, on a Sunday. I'll never forget it. That's where everything shifted, really. Because I felt like... Ah, I felt forsaken. <laughs> my dad was my dad was had left me. Um, my son's father left me for dead. <sighs> so I went back to church and I wasn't even paying attention. I don't think I was paying attention. But at some point, the pastor said, Pastor Bolaji, and I'll never forget it. He was talking about how you should never feel like your destiny. Has been placed in someone else's hands that god will never do that to you like don't feel like if someone should leave you that's the end of your life and my my, my mind my soul my body just came back to church I'm like, oh, okay like speaking to me so this this is really for like anyone out there who's struggling maybe you're a single mom you're going through like a hard time you feel like your whole world is crumbling. You'll never be able to overcome whatever you're going through right now. You will, like, I, this is three years down the line and absolutely no regrets. God is just, God has been amazing. God has been a wonderful, really. Like, don't, don't beat yourself up for anything. Like, this scripture has just been in my mind. I feel like God placed this in my heart for a reason. I will never leave you nor forsake you, literally. And that's been, like, that's been my life like i literally see it every single day like 
his like his love overwhelms me literally like he will literally he will never leave you nor forsake you like he means it he does not mean oh if somebody should break up with you. yeah any, anything that happens if your father should leave you if your uh, your husband any i will never leave you nor forsake you and he means it and I, i'm literally a testimony of that so it's just been amazing like there's a pastor in church in harvesters that literally took me as his own like i I would never like that man means so much to me pastor handsome like he carried me like his child he used to check on me he helped like he literally was like a mediator between me and my son's father like he, when he, he like he at the point he had to step in and literally like try to like control like everything that was going on because it was a lot of back and forth it was a lot of like emotional abuse it was a lot of verbal like abuse like a lot was just going on and literally this man would take out his time he would check on me he would like like he's just a wonderful person literally like i would literally like <laughs> I, I like <laughs> i have no words he's just amazing pastor handsome <sighs> like i have so much love for him and when i joined like it's a group in church i felt like i had like my own family like my own community and another thing that this situation has also taught me because i grew up in a polygamous home right so i never really felt co connected to like my siblings but when this entire thing happened i was like oh okay all right my siblings actually have my back like i felt so much love like my sister my brothers like literally like they all like made me feel like we got you like like we have your back like you don't have to worry and it's just been it's just it's been an amazing journey and i can't wait to see what like what god has in store for me because i know he has so much more like so much more in store for me like he tells me like it's just been amazing literally like i'm in such a good place right now than i was <laughs> eight, two years ago so i just hope this is able to help someone out there like if you're going through a tough time and you feel like this is the end of the world it's not the end of the world like literally there's a light at the tunnel like you're going to be just fine like you're going to be just fine like that thing you think will kill you it will not kill you it will not kill you it's only going to make you stronger like i can't even believe the person i am today what like daniela of today is not daniela of two years ago it's not Daniela of yesterday like god has been so good god has been amazing and I know he's just getting started with me. He's just getting started. So yeah, I hope this has been able to help someone out there. Um, yeah, cause God placed it in my heart for a while now and I just feel like it's meant to reach someone out there. So if you know anybody that you feel like this message might resonate with, please share with them, it can help someone. Yeah, thank you guys so much for staying here with me. I'll catch you guys in the next video. If you have any recommendations, any type of videos you wanna see, please let me know in the comment section and I will get that up for you guys. Thank you, see you guys next time.